coach. Well, first of all, I want to take my hat off to these coaches and these players. You know, they were put in a tough situation, you know, thrown in the fire right away, but um, they came back and they worked on it off week. They got better. They came back this week and they got better and they fought tonight. Every Big Ten game is going to be like this. If you look around, if you just look around the conference, everything's a tight game like this and you got to win the full quarter. And we did. What did that mean to you to meet your team in the locker room after your first win as an uh, interim coach? Well, I mean, it felt good. Like I said, you know, you're happy for the kids. You're happy they've been they've been through a lot, and they they had to, you know, like I told them before. I said, right, right now, the situation we're in, nobody cares. Nobody cares. You got to do it to, for the man to the right and the man to the left. What's your what was your thought process when Casey wound up through that long pass to, to Trey? Trey runs under it. Um, maybe the emotions going through you in that moment. What you saw in that play. Well, I, when I seen Trey, he was he was even with him, and then I seen Casey launch it. We always tell Casey when you're throwing the ball to Trey, just hit your back foot and throw it far as you can, and he'll go get it. And it, and it worked out in our favor. You, you held him to 290 yards. What, what can you say about the defense and, and bouncing back from the tough end of the first half there? Defense played. They played lights out. They played lights out. I, I want to say they were on third down conversions. I think they were they were two out of they were two out of 15 on third down conversion. So that means the defense was getting off the field. They were fired up and they played they played lights out. What do you think the reason for that was in the game? Was it just Bill Bush's new kind of vision or did the kids just have that much of a world to win? Well you, you you take your hat off to the kids first and then you take your hat off to Bill for simplifying some things and the way they practice. These kids got a lot of pride. You know, they've been close. They've been close on a lot of games. So they finally got to the full quarter today and separated themselves in the full quarter. They play full quarters of football. Finally, that's how you win close games. You got to play full quarters. Mickey, what did you see from Malcolm Barzog tonight? Malcolm's well, a little warrior, a little young, young kid. What he's about 17, 18. Yeah, he um, he played big. You know, he's a kid from down south from Mississippi. It's not too big for him. He's got he's a confident kid, and uh, we talked to him all week about if you don't block it, you got to pick it up and score. And he did that, but he played he played lights out at corner, you know. And I we we I told him I said they're not going to throw at you, they're going to throw at you, and and he he held his own. What did you see on Turner's ejection? Well, Turner said he didn't punch him. That and the kid was down. He was his 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 helmet was down in his eyes. He couldn't get up, so he pushed the kid down, you know. So, but the referee said it was a punch. So we'll look at it on on the tape. And if it's if it was a bad call, we'll turn it in. And he, the ref also told me that also on the sideline. If he missed it, just let him know, and we'll turn it in. What do you think that fourth quarter can do for the guys going, going ahead? Well, I think right now, you know, just, just their mental right now is like we can win the fourth quarter. We can win close games because they've been so close. They've been so close, and they finally got to a Big Ten game and got to the fourth quarter, and they finished in the fourth quarter. You mentioned uh, in the press conference earlier this week that you wanted to see a play from special teams, and the special teams was really solid tonight. So that blocked the punt. How good did that feel? That was big. We talked about that all week, and it was executed, you know, to, to the best we can execute. It. Joey did a really good job of getting these kids ready. But we, we said we had a punt that, that we needed to block, and somebody had to make a play. And I thought, you, like you said, I thought they special teams played solid tonight. How important was the physicality, physical aspect to you tonight? I and mean, how, how do you feel that you guys performed in that area? I thought they put their face in the fan. I didn't, see, I didn't see anybody shy away. We still had some missed tackles, but I thought for the most part, they got them down and they were physical. We, we said in the beginning of the game, whoever's the most physical team's going to win the game. You want to lean on them there on that, that last touchdown drive? You really went to Anthony. Were you pleased with just how you were able to kind of grind out? You Six minutes drive there. Yeah, and early in the game, he wasn't seeing it. So, you know, I was asking Apple, why, why is he bouncing everything? And he told me why he was bouncing, but he wasn't seeing it. So we told him just slow down a little bit because we thought, um, Casey thought he was rushing a lot, of, a lot of the runs. Slow down a little bit, see it, let it develop, and then hit it. What was the sequence? You brought Chubba in on the nine yard line the first half. Was Casey hurt? Was, uh, or is that, do you want to go to someone else there? No, Ch Chubba needs reps. You know, we thought Casey was struggling, needed to see it sometimes, you know. Coach Osborne did that with us, took us out sometimes the third or fourth series so you can see it from the sideline. So now you can see what the defense is trying to do to you. So sometimes it's good to take him out. It's not probably won't be the first time that we take him out and let Chubba go in. 
You know, Chubb was capable of making plays, and I know he had a turnover in the end zone, but it just helped Casey see it from the sideline. How hard is it when a game is that choppy? Not, not, I'm not saying it has to be coming up officially, but how much of a challenge is that when you're behind the chains a lot and the clock's stopping all the time? I got to do the better job with this team. I know we have officials at practice Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so I'm probably going to have the officials at practice Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I got to do a better job. I got to do a better job of um, getting them to play under control. And I told them, I said, the, the, the non-moving penalties irritates me. And a couple of, you know, pass interference calls, one, I thought one of the balls was, you know, wasn't catchable, but they, they had them locked up. They had them covered. You just had to move your feet. But, you know, it's things that we can clean up, and we'll go back and look at it and, and, and get better. But if you're going to be an aggressive football team, you, you're going to have some, some of those penalties if you're going to be aggressive. But, you know, we're going to go back and look at it because we don't condone that, and we'll get better. One or two more. Well, Casey looked to take a pretty hard hit when he came out. I mean, you have Chevy in for one play. Casey comes back, you know, makes the 71-yard throw after that. What, what, what can you say about his bounce-back ability in, in that spot? Well, well Casey's a tough kid. You know, Casey comes from a tough family. And when we went out to get him, he grabbed me. He said, I'm going back in the game. So, I mean, with me, I'm like, okay, go back in. You got a short week here with the game Friday. What was the slate tomorrow like? And just you got to kind of jump back to it. Could be the 24 hour rule that we got to get ready for Rutgers. How's that first one feel, man? Just 1 0 this week. You know how it goes. You know, just got to take one at a time. You know, like I said, I'm happy for the kids, I'm happy for the coaches. You know, as a head coach, you, you sit up here, but you got to give praise to the guys that's underneath you that put the work in. You know, I, I, I'm just I'm just leading them right now, but um, I'm happy for them because they put they put a lot of work in. They work hard. At, they're doing things extra what I'm asking them to do. So it's not you know it's a little different for them, but they they adapt into it and they understand to see what I'm what I'm seeing. All right, thank you. Coach. Thank you guys.